Right now, Wake County's vaccination sites are no longer taking walk-ins. Nope. The health department going by appointments only. They are anticipating more and more people will show up to get a booster shot. CBS 17's Joseph Holloway live outside one of those sites with how demand is looking as of this noon hour. Joseph. Yeah, guys, we have spent time today outside of both of the vaccine sites right here in Raleigh, including this one right here at the Human Services Center on Departure Drive. And we can tell you it has not been very busy from what we've been seeing, but the county expects that that will change soon after an FDA advisory panel recommended on Friday for the or recommended the Pfizer vaccine for those age 65 and older. And that's why Wake County has also added more nurses at its five permanent sites, and they're also staying open by another half hour each day. Right now, only immunocompromised people are able to get a booster. So Brenda Pitt says that her doctor actually recommended that she get that third dose, and she was able to get an appointment on extremely short notice. When did you make your appointment? Last night, about midnight. Great. Oh, they're not busy at all. I was the only one in there getting the shot. And health department leaders say that this added staffing will also allow them to double their capacity for the number of shots that they're able to give out each day. Live in Raleigh, Joseph Holloway, CBS 17 News.